guys, I'm back with another video, and today I'm doing the 25th day of the It's My Christmas Nails Challenge, which I co-hosted with the wonderful Char K. I will link her channel down below so you guys can go check out what she did. And today's theme is Holly, so I've already done my right hand, and this is the mania I'm going to do today for you. So as a base on all of my nails, I have this um, pretty festive, I guess, shade of green. It's a pretty bright color, and it's called Let Us Be Friends from Wet n Wild. I'm getting tired of all these, you know, dark, cold, wintry shades, so I had to mix it up a little bit with something a little more springy. And I also prepped around all of my nails with a coat of liquid latex. I use liquid latex fashions from Amazon. And to begin with, I'm going to be using this plate from Uber Chic. It is Uber Chic Christmas 01. Right there. And I'm going to be using this image right here. This image right here. It is um, holly and bows and polka dots. And I'm going to be stamping with Muna de Unas number 8 green. And Muna de Unas number 32 reddish. I'm also using my Uber Chic Beauty Stamper, the sticky one. And my Born Pretty Store, my Born Pretty Store Scraper, if I can get my fingers on it. So I'm going to be stamping this image with both of these colors I just showed you. So I'm going to start with the green, and I'm going to put the green only where the um, the holly is, and then where the bows and pretty much everywhere else, um, the bows and the polka dots, I'm going to do in the red. And the polka dots, I don't really care what color they turn out because I'm going to be using my dotting tool later to go over them with gold. So it's not really a big deal if they turn either color. I don't really care. There's another holly. I do wish on this image that there was some more holly in it. Like it's, I feel like all the holly is centered like to this side and then this side's all bows. I wish it was like a little more evenly, evenly placed, but it still came out cute. So I'm happy. Okay, so now I'm going to take my red and put it everywhere else. And MDU is really thick, so it, it does a really good job of staying where you put it. And it dries really slow. Like, it, it's not that it dries really slow, but it just doesn't dry quickly in this situation when you're stamping with it. So it's perfect for things like this where you put the polish down and it takes you a second to actually pick up the image. Just going to do one clean sweep, clean scrape. Try not to blend the colors. So there's my image. Let's see here. There's my image. Came out really good. I'm going to put this one on my pointer finger. Kind of try to put it to where I'm getting more of that holly on my finger. So there it is, and there's a little bald spot at the bottom. I can fill that in with a couple dots later. So I'm going to put that same image on the rest of my nails that are um, taped up with the latex. And for my ring finger, I am using this plate from Bundle Monster. It is BMS216. And I'm going to be using this image right here, the little holly I think it's supposed to be holly. I actually use that same image for, um, what is it called? For the mistletoe prompt, but I colored the little berries in white, and this time, obviously, I'm going to color them in red. So I'm still using my green mutadunias. Just grab my little guy here. So there's my image, and I'm going to center this one towards the bottom left corner, bottom outside corner of my ring finger. There it is. From the front. And then I'm going to do that one more time, and this time I'm going to center it towards the top inside corner of my nail. So basically the opposite of what I just did. So there's the image, and I'm going to put the berries to where they're facing the opposite direction as well. So there you go. 
super cute. So let me go ahead and finish stamping the rest of my nails and I will meet you right back. Okay, so I finished stamping on the rest of my nails, and now I'm going to go in with this gold stamping polish from Born Pretty Store, and a small dotting tool, if you guys can see that, and over all the little dots that are not the holly, so all the dots that are in between the green holly and the red bows that are all kinds of ugly puke colors because of the red and the green mixed together, I'm going to go over all of them with the gold. And I'm going to start with the smaller end of the dotting tool. And if you see my hair, I'm really sorry. I have really long hair and I forgot to pull it up. So it's like falling in my face and in the shot. So I apologize if you see it. Anyway, so I'm going to take my small dotting tool here. And look, there's a piece of my hair right there. And go over all of the dots. And some of the dots are really big and some of them are really small. So I am going to take the fatter side of the dotting tool and go over the really big ones after I go over the smaller ones. If I have to. Um. And let's do a couple up here. And I don't think I'm going to need the big one for this nail in particular. A couple little small ones right over there. So basically that's what I'm going to do with the gold. Wipe this off. And now I'm going to go in with the same red that I stamped with, with the Mutadunias. And I'm just going to put a little blob of that down. And I'm still using the smaller end of my dotting tool. And I'm going to go in all of the little hollies and just put three little dots. I'm going to try to go over the dots that were stamped just to where they're covered up. But it's going to be way bigger than that. So I just want to make sure that I cover up the little green dots if possible. Three there. Let's do one up here for good measure. And do these there. So that's what I'm going to do to all of the nails. And then my ring finger, of course, is different. So I'm just going to do the same thing with the red. Go in and cover any little dots that were in the green. And I'm going to put one in the middle just because I think it looks like it needs one. So I'm going to finish doing that finish doing that on my ring finger and finish the rest of my nails, clean up the top coat, and I'll meet you back with a close-up. Okay, guys, I finished and top coated, and this is my all-finished Holly Manny. It's my other hand. I think it's super cute. It's a little busy, but super cute. Definitely says Holly. It's my thumbs. Make sure you guys go and check out Char's channel and see all the gorgeous manis that she did for this challenge because she definitely knocked it out of the park, went so, so above and beyond, and her manis are just so gorgeous. So definitely go and check her out, and she's only a couple subscribers away from hitting 1,000. So if you haven't subscribed to her, please go and do that for me as a favor, personal favor to me, because I'm super pumped to see her hit 1,000 subscribers because she's so awesome. So, and I hope you guys liked this video, and I hope you liked my Manny too. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and of course, come back to see me next time. Bye!